One of them is we know that the 15th of Sivan is Jesus' birthday. Okay? We've been able to show this in many, many different places. But let me show you in Stellarium. So here's Stellarium. You see it's month one back, or sorry, sorry, not month one. It's 1 BC, the time of Jesus' birth. And it was June. And let's see, here we are going through the dates. Look at where the sun is in Gemini. Where is the sun in month one now? You see, everything is off by one month from where it was in Christ's time because the movement of the sun. In the beginning, it was another month further from there. So in Christ's time, here is month one in Gemini, and look at where he's born. See the moon going? We're going to follow the moon, and there's Venus, and there's Jupiter. You follow it along? We're looking for what? We're looking for the star of Bethlehem. What do you think the chances are that the star of Bethlehem even happened on a full moon? You got it. Look at what happens. You see that? Venus moving into Jupiter. And it became the brightest star in the sky. This is what they had seen. This has been proven by many people, lawyers, astrologers, uh, um, you know, the guy from the, the planetarium that we talked about, we shared not too long ago. Christ was born June 17th of 1 BC. And look at what it was. Full moon. Do you know, check this out. If you go back one minute, I'm sorry, back one minute. It wasn't exactly full moon, according to Stellarium. If you go forward one minute, it was 1635, right, military time, from Jerusalem, we're talking from Jerusalem, on June 17th, that it was full moon when Jupiter and Venus made the conjunction of the Star of Bethlehem. I just decided to go look that one up today and check this out. How cool is this? Watch this. So we're looking for 1635. Let's go to the Gregorian 1635. Watch this. Voluntary. Willingly. Isn't that awesome? It could have been any number, guys. It could have been any number, but the exact number of the full moon at the conjunction on June 17th of 1 BC is the word voluntary and willingly. Didn't Christ do exactly that? Didn't Christ say, send me, I'll go? Awesome, right? Right at the time of the conjunction. Now, what does this prove? Oh, you don't know that that really is. Okay, well, let's go have a look. Let's see. In 1 BC, okay, this is the true 1 BC. To the Romans, right, to the Gregorian, they would say 2 BC because they don't include year zero. But in truth, it's 1 BC because we know there is a year zero. So let's go. There's June 17th. If we go right across, all you do is go right across to the same third row. And what do we get? Savan, the third month, 15th day. See, one, two, third row. June 17th is Savan 15. Now you might say, oh, that's it, that's it? You can't prove more than that? Ah, well, how about that? Let's prove a little bit more. Let's go to the book of jubilees and let me show you what else we've got in the third month okay in the middle of the month what's the middle of the month 15th day in the days which the lord had said to abraham on the festival of the first harvest huh feast of first uh feast of weeks right of the first fruits of the wheat harvest isaac was born when was isaac born third month 15th day. Well, how about that? Let me show you another one. Isn't Jesus, right? Jesus is going to be the lion of the tribe of Judah, right? So as the lion of the tribe of Judah, do you think this is maybe fitting? And again, Jacob went in unto Leah and she became, she became pregnant and bore him a fourth son and called his name Judah on the 15th day of the third, on the 15th of the third month. Isn't that awesome? So if he's the line of the tribe of Judah and Judah is born on the 15th day of the third month <clears throat> and Isaac, who's called the promise, and Isaac is born on the 15th day of the third month and you go to the, you go to the star of Bethlehem and it was the 15th day of the third month, it's done.
There's no more mystery. No more needing to, to go around seeking and searching when Jesus was born. We've understood it. <coughs> Excuse me.